Welcome to the MBS Engineering channel. In today's video, we will discuss the causes of gear tooth failure and how to prevent gear tooth failure. Next, we will discuss about the causes of gear tooth failure. A gear is a mechanical component that transfers force and motion from one mechanical unit to another. Spur gears, helical gears, straight and spiral bevel gears, and hypoid gears are some of the most popular types of gears that have been invented to serve diverse functions. Next, the various types of gear tooth failure and possible remedies to prevent failure are discussed in upcoming slides. The various types of gear tooth failure are the first one is bending failure, the second one is pitting, the third one is scoring, the fourth one is abrasive wear, the fifth one is corrosive wear. Please refer to the images of the gear teeth failure for better understanding. Next, we will discuss the causes of gear tooth failure and its preventive action. The various types of gear tooth failure and possible remedies to prevent failure are as follows. First, we will discuss about the bending failure. The main causes of the bending failure are, each tooth of a gear acts as a cantilever. If the sum of the repeated dynamic loads applied to the gear teeth is greater than the gear beam strength, the gear teeth will fail, to bend a gear teeth break. Next, we will discuss how to prevent the gear tooth failure due to bending. To avoid such damage, the gear modulus and face width are adjusted so that the strength of the beam is greater than the dynamic load. Please refer to the gear tooth failure images for better understanding. Next, we will discuss the causes of gear tooth failure and its preventive action. The various types of gear tooth failure and possible remedies to prevent failure are as follows. The second causes of the gear tooth failure is pitting. They are below types of pitting that causes the gear tooth failure. The first one is initial pitting. Next, the second one is destructive pitting. Next, the third one is spalling. Next, we will understand about the initial pitting. The main causes of the initial pitting are given below. Because of high spots, surface irregularities, and errors in tooth profile. It is a temporary phenomenon. Next, we will understand how to prevent the initial pitting failure. It can be minimized by improving the surface finish and proper alignment of gears. Please refer to the gear tooth failure images for better understanding. Next, we will discuss the causes of gear tooth failure and its preventive action. The various types of gear tooth failure and possible remedies to prevent failure are as follows. Next, the main cause of the gear tooth failure is destructive pitting. The main cause of the gear tooth failure is destructive pitting. Pitting, a surface fatigue fracture caused by repeated Hertz contact stresses. Failure occurs when the surface contact stress is higher than the fatigue strength of the material. The breakage begins with the formation of a pit that continues to grow and destroy the tooth surface. Next, we will understand how to prevent gear tooth failure due to pitting. To avoid pitting, the dynamic load between the gear teeth must be less than the wear resistance of the gear teeth. It can be avoided by improving surface endurance strength hardness. Next, the main causes of the gear tooth failure is spalling. Next, we will understand the main causes of the spalling is given below. It is another surface fatigue failure in which the cracks originate below the gear tooth surface due to subsurface stresses. Next, we will understand how to prevent the spalling. Spalling can be avoided by providing sufficient case depth in surface hardening. Please refer to the gear tooth failure images for better understanding.
Next, we will discuss the causes of gear tooth failure and its preventive action. The various types of gear tooth failure and possible remedies to prevent failure are as follows. Next, the main cause of the gear tooth failure due to scoring. Next, the main causes of the gear tooth failure are scoring. Scoring, if the surface pressure is too high, the speed is too high, or there is no lubricant supply, then excessive heat will be generated. It is a stick-slip phenomenon in which alternate shearing and welding take place rapidly at high spots. Next, we will understand how to prevent the gear tooth failure due to scoring. This type of failure can be avoided by properly designing the parameters such as speed, pressure, and proper flow of the lubricant so that the temperature at the rubbing faces is within the permissible limits. Please refer to the gear tooth failure images for better understanding. Next, we will discuss the causes of gear tooth failure and its preventive action. The various types of gear tooth failure and possible remedies to prevent failure are as follows. Next, the main causes of the gear tooth failure due to abrasive wear. The main causes of the abrasive wear are the abrasive wear, foreign objects such as dirt, debris, and burrs in the lubricant will get between the teeth and damage the tooth shape. Next, understand how to prevent the gear tooth failure due to abrasive wear. This kind of failure can be avoided by providing a filter for the lubricant or using a high viscosity lubricant. This will create a thicker oil film, making it easier for particles to pass through without damaging the gear surface. Please refer to the gear tooth failure images for better understanding. Next, we will discuss the causes of gear tooth failure and its preventive action. The various types of gear tooth failure and possible remedies to prevent failure are as follows. Next, the main cause of the gear tooth failure is corrosive wear. Next, the main causes of the corrosive wear are corrosive wear, corrosion of the tooth surface is mainly caused by the presence of corrosive elements such as additives present in the lubricating oil. Next, how to prevent gear tooth failure due to corrosive wear. To avoid this kind of wear, it is necessary to use suitable anti-corrosion additives. Please refer to the gear tooth failure images for better understanding. We hope this video has helped you understand the causes of gear tooth failure and how to prevent gear tooth failure. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.